All right, so this is the Team Yeh Allstate COVID Edition Crash Course. Um, if you have done Allstate before, uh, it has changed. And if this is your first time doing Allstate, it's actually a really good year to get used to it because um, the requirements are extremely limited now as opposed to the, the, the requirements of past years. We no longer have weekends. The whole contest has gone virtual. And so since we can't do content, concerts live in this fall semester, um, I'm replacing the live concert aspect with um, preparing for Allstate. We'll just see how this year advances. Um, varsity classes are required to do this and non-varsity choirs are more than welcome. Um, I will find a way to get you involved. Uh, and um, we've had several freshmen and sophomores in past years meet the Allstate choir. So. Okay, um, Team All State Code Edition, here we go. So basically how it works is the state is divided into 33 regions. Um, each one you might see here, and we are way in here. We are region 30 on this western hook of Fort Worth and you know the countryside that it faces. Um, between these 33 regions, there are three total auditions for each singer. The first two auditions are held at the regional level. So our first two auditions are just gonna be against our friends here in Region 30. We don't compete against anyone outside of Region 30 until the final round, which determines who makes the Allstate Choir. Three rounds total, two of them just involving Region 30. So here, here's our region in the state, there's Region 30, and these are all of the independent school districts that we face. Um, and some of these school districts don't have choirs. Some of them are smaller schools, but altogether, this is a competitive, this is a competitive region and a large part of the state. <clears throat> so between this state, uh, between this region, there are, there, there will be three auditions. The region audition, which has four pieces, we'll learn in class. If you're varsity and uh, non-varsity kids, you'll uh, learn it on your own and with help. Pre-area audition is the second one, and there will be four new pieces. And then the Allstate audition is just three pieces, but um, at each round it's a new set of pieces, and we'll be working towards that. Um, and again, region and pre-area happen at this round, at, in, in this arena against the people only in this region. So there are eight voice parts, soprano one, soprano two, alto one, alto two, tenor one, tenor two. This is the only time of year where Mr. Kirtley will assign you a voice part or Ms. Suver will assign you a voice part and you will have to stick with that voice part until the end of the contest. But in no way does your voice part with Allstate correlate or tie you down to a voice part in your class or from piece to piece in regular daily life. Your identity as a singer is never your voice part. We just have to pick one of these for this one contest and it's very strategic. You might be the best soprano in the world, but if we say your best bet of making Allstate is as an alto one, you have to kind of treat us like a football coach in that way. We, we are strategic with where we place you um, to have the most Allstaters. So uh, starting the audition process in our region, we have about 80 soprano ones that, that will be submitting audition, online auditions, about 100 soprano twos, about 80 alto ones, and so on and so forth. Um, you will only be competing against the people in your one voice part. So that's people who will submit. At the region audition, they take those people and they bring every one section, no matter with you started from 80 or you started from 100 people in your section, they take those people and narrow it down to 12 singers. Those 12 singers after that first round, that region audition, those 12 singers from each voice part will continue preparing music for the second round of auditions which is pre-area. At this pre-area audition, they take those same 12 people and they narrow them down to five chairs. Those five people in your one voice part essentially are the, the five representatives of your voice part for the region. So the point of region in pre-area is to take all of these people on the left, say a, a hundred soprano twos, we're trying to find the top five soprano twos in our region out of those 100 
the top five soprano twos to represent us at the all-state audition. Now, the state's too large to put everyone in the entire state against each other at, and in one room. So luckily, they divide the state into areas, and we only compete with our area in order to make the All-State Choir. So this um, right here is the layout of our area. It's uh, Region 30, which is us, Region 5, which includes Arlington, Cedar Hill ISD, Fort Worth ISD, Grand Prairie ISD, Mansfield, and Midlothian. Uh, region 24, which is way over there, but it includes Frisco ISD, Little Elm, McKinney, and Prosper. And then Region 31, which we know this area very well, um, being from Calgary. This is Birdville ISD, Carroll ISD, so that's South Lake, Carrollton Farmers Branch, Capel, um, Grapevine, Colleyville ISD, HEB, and Irving. This is a tough area. We no longer have Plano in our area in our area, which is great, but you compete against only people in this area and past this round, you'll be in the Allstate Choir if you advance. So at the last audition, every region, remember every region narrowed their people down to five auditionees. Region 30 is us, we sent five people per voice part. We are met at the area audition with the top five representatives of 31, top five of five, and top five of 24. So each room, each section, so if you're Soprano 1, Soprano 2, no matter what, you are competing against 20 people that day. 20 people, 5 people per region. And of those 20 people, they're going to narrow women down to 9 people. So 11 people at the last round won't make it. And they'll narrow men down to seven people. And um, so at the last round, if you make chairs nine through one, you're in the all you're an all stater. But if you're at the last round, if your chairs one through three, you're in the all state mixed choir, which is sopranos, altos, tenors, and basses. And if you're a female, your chairs four through nine, you are in the all state treble choir, which is um, soprano ones, two, altos ones, two, uh, and, uh, soprano ones and twos, alto ones and twos. And then remember, this is all at just that last round, that last audition. Out of those 20 people that are at the last audition, men, 70 of you will make all state, but the top three will be in mix and the, and chairs four through seven will be in the all state tenor bass choir. So, um, once you once we have our area all set, then you make all state. But the area, you know, the area, the all state choir is not just going to have three people in a voice part, right? So they take our area, and all of our not all staters, nine women, seventeen men, and they combine us with the winners at all of these areas. We're area B. Um, when you make Allstate, you go to San Antonio and you sit in a room with the top, in the mixed choir, you sit in the room with the top three chairs from area A with all those regions, area B, C, D, E, F, G, H. So the mixed choir, soprano one section, is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, is 24 soprano ones that all got chairs one through three against their areas. And then Soprano twos, 24. Alto ones, 24. So the Allstate Mix Choir is a really large group. That's how it breaks. This is the basic information for the uh, for Allstate this year. Um, most of this information is different from last year, so um, you can either pause this video and take a good look, or you can download the form that's uh, uh, available on the choir website but um when you register for Allstate make sure that you sign up for Remind 101 this is required so all of our C people need to be on the, the TC TMEA at 10, 8 10, 10 complete the online registration process for Allstate through the TCHS choir registration form which you're in the middle of doing right now payment and music schedule um, so do not pay for music until you follow the registration steps above um, when you are registered and ready to pay, you go to PayPal or download the PayPal app to set up your preserved payment information. 
The cost of Allstate for non-varsity students is $30 made payable to TCHS boosters. If a student has their own sheet music from an outside source, the cost is $15. The cost of Allstate for varsity students is included in your choir fee. So that is why your choir fee will be $75. New all virtual audition dates. Region audition, Saturday, October 10th, 10 a.m. Audition recuts are released. Then you have from October 10th at 10 a.m. until that following Wednesday, the 14th at 11.59 p.m. to submit your audition from the comfort of your home using an app on your phone called Music First. And we'll, we'll go over all of that, but it's just, um. You just submit the recording at home. Monday, October 19th, the results are posted and the top 12 chairs advance to the pre-area auditions. So starting on October 19th, the top 12 people will learn a new set of music and will continue on the audition process leading up to the pre-area auditions on November 28th. From, from that Saturday at 10 a.m. until Wednesday, December 2nd at 11.59 p.m., you have to submit your pre-area audition recording. Then that following Monday, just like before, the results will be posted, but this time the top five chairs will advance to the Allstate auditions, which won't be all the way until January. January 2nd, uh, January 2nd, Saturday at 10 a.m. until Wednesday, January 6th, 11.59 p.m. is when you have to submit your Allstate audition recording. Um, Saturday, January 9th, the Allstate Choir rosters will be posted online and you will know when you are, if whether or not you made the Allstate Choir. The audition music, here are the pieces for the year in order of the auditions. Okay, so there's a Sopranos and Altos have a set, Tenors and Bases have a set for region, pre-area, and state. You will get, a, a, upon registering for choir and paying, you will get a, a, a Google Drive link to view the practice materials and to practice. The week leading up to the first round of auditions, we will replace your photocopy music with your hard copy music, and you have to have a hard copy of music to, to um, participate. And so uh, you'll use copied music for now, and then you'll use hard copy music um, in time for the audition. And this is all the new information about Allstate this year. Again, we're going to be learning the music in class regardless for varsity students. And there's plenty of resources and stuff online for the non-varsity students who want to participate. But um, uh, I'm excited for this year.